Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to do a what the heck check on Diana Agron and Taylor Swift. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. Let's go. So guys, this was like kind of like a random rumor. I mean, Taylor Swift has been in the news a lot with the Matt Healy debacle, her tour, you know, breaking up with Joe Alwyn, the whole shebang bang, and we all know that. By the way, this Matt Healy stuff, I don't buy it. Uh, I haven't done another video on it because I'm like, this is a big nothing burger, okay? So page six, sources have been linking that they were at a restaurant and kissing and cuddling the whole time. Show me the photos. Show me the photos of them kissing and cuddling. That's what I want to see. Holding hands, that's fine. That doesn't mean anything. Be because my hypothesis is that like Matt Healy is like her like little friend. Like he's like a brother to her. We're not going to see any kissing and cuddling photos because that would be like gross to them both is what I'm saying. Like this, this, I will die on this hill, <laughs> okay? That is what I have to say about that. So the Diana Agron rumor, I didn't, wasn't really aware of this when this was happening at the time, but like this was like kind of around that era of like Taylor Swift and her squad. She was running around with Carly Kloss, or I think it was before she was running around with Carly Kloss. But there's a picture of like Diana Agron. There's a famous picture of Diana Agron greeting Taylor Swift at an awards show. And Carly is like right there and Taylor's kind of like looking at her like, you're my past coming back. Like, it's not like a normal look in my opinion. Like, she's like, what do you want? Like, I just want to say hi, just being social, you know, whatever. So Diana Agron was recently asked again about these rumors. This is from Vanity Fair. When asked about being thanked in the liner notes for Swift's 22, Agron shrugged off credit for being an inspiration saying me oh if only that's more because of a friendship than being the inspiration for the song but I would not be the person to ask about that I cannot claim that I don't know I mean it's vague then this exchange how do you feel about the way that friendship was covered in the media you two were shipped and then she goes shipped <laughs> you two were made out by the media and some fans to be in a relationship she responds, that is so interesting. I, I mean, there have been many stories about my dating life that are so wildly untrue. That's funny. Oh, dang, my girlfriend just kind of wiggled her way out of that. That was like the cha-cha-cha, like, that was like, ooh, sidestep, sidestep, pivot. That is such a vague sidestepping answer. I, I'm almost like, okay, so you guys were banging, you're running around together, you're having sex, you're in love. Like, that's what I would uh, conclude from someone sidestepping it like that. I was like, oh, so that's a yes, you were involved. Because when something's like wrong or untrue, they're like, no, what? What are you saying? You know, they address the untrue rumors, but She's, she kind of seeks refuge in this remark. There have been so many stories about me in the media that have been, you know, wildly on trail. But okay, well, is this one of them? Or is this a, a true story, Diana? Why don't you just tell us? So we're gonna pull some cards on these two. Uh, before we do, um, Diana Agron is a Taurus with an Aquarius moon. So Taurus Sag, you know, Taylor Swift, as we know, she's a Sagittarius with a Scorpio rising and a Cancer moon. I mean, there's enough, it's fine. I, I'm kind of so-so about it, but they, they, they can make it work if they wanted it to, that's fine. That's my astrological breakdown of this show. I was like, oh, that's fine. Whatever, uh, let's start pulling some cards, right? Taylor. Oh no, let's, we're gonna have it like this. Diana, Taylor. Diana, Taylor. We are hurting the situation and what was the bottom line about these two? Were they friends? Were they friends? They're just best friends. Just like the way Taylor and Carly were just best friends, right? Like, right? Mm, okay, right. All right. I know, I'm in a mood. Okay, Diana's external vibe towards Taylor. Oh, okay, 10 of wands, very clear. Well, this is hard work. This is an uphill batter. One, one person doing more of the heavy lifting in the relationship. And that makes sense that she would have felt that way because had they been dating, like Taylor would have been like the burgeoning pop star, 
you know, who had like the very, very busy demanding life and Diana would have just been like kind of more of a regular person. I mean, she was like probably working at the time and like a recognizable face, but certainly no pop star. Okay, interesting. All right, Taylor's external vibe towards Diana. Oh, okay, interesting. So we got the Hierophant in reverse. So the Hierophant is institutions, like these pillars of society. And it's interesting so that this is coming up subverted. So if they were running around together, like she would have been subverting sort of like the pillars of like, you know, the institutional pop star image for someone of like her genre, you know? So that's really interesting. That's really, it's an interesting way of putting it, the Hierophant in reverse, like, she had, it's almost like the cards were implying that Taylor felt like she had to uphold these institutional norms to a certain extent, but in some ways they were being like subverted to have Diana in her life or not, or maybe they were just friends. Let's keep pulling cards. What was Diana's internal vibe towards Taylor? Oh, okay. So she, she had some pretty strong feelings. Okay. About her, at least in her life, we got the judgment card. So this is like, God has a plan. So she felt like Taylor crossing paths into her life was like God's plan for her. So this would suggest that she had enormous feelings towards Taylor and thought, you know, enormously of Taylor and that Taylor had an enormous impact in her life is what this card suggests. Okay. Interesting. What was Taylor's vibe towards Diana? Hmm. Okay. All right. So with the page of pentacles. So, so far, no lovey dovey cards. Like this is youth, you know, and you know, back when the album 22 came out, Taylor was quite young, like youth, you know, this is like my little play thing in the physical world. Like it could be like that. Like this is my little play thing in the physical world, or it could be just like, Oh, we're running around planet earth together as friends. Thus far, no romantic cards have come up. We haven't gotten any of the cups cards. Um, we've gotten from Diana so far that the, like the, the enormity of Taylor's impact in her life. And we have less of that from Taylor is more of like, I'll make room for you in my life at this time. Okay. What was helping or hurting this situation? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So this is interesting that we got another very sort of patriarchal card. We got the emperor in reverse. So the emperor upright, that's the patriarchy. This is like men and their rules and their structures of society, the, the old fashioned way and the old fashioned way of doing things and like the, that, those expectations. So this being subverted is a good thing. This echoes this, the fact that these two like really patriarchal, masculine, old timey, like, meat and potatoes type of cards have both come up in reverse is very, very interesting to me. That alone to me would signify like a same sex relationship. Just the fact that we've had two of those cards, they're major arcana and they've come up twice so far. That is like, to me, the nudge nudge of like, this was more than a friendship. Okay. Um, what was the bottom line between them? Oh, Okay. Okay. So we did get a cups card, got the queen of cups. That's the first cups, queen of cups or queens of cups. <laughs> oh, I'm awful. I'm just an awful, awful person. So queens of cups, like, so, you know, this is the deeply feeling emotionally sensitive queen, you know, leaning into her emotions. So is this Taylor? Is this Diana? Or is this meant to symbolize like their connection as a whole? Uh, we're going to find out. So let's just pull one more card. Was Diana and Taylor Swift, did they have a romantic relationship that was more than friends at any point when they were together? Hmm. 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 I want to pull a different card. So guys, this is what we got. We get the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So here's what I'm thinking. Uh, to me, this is a yes, just because it's a knight and the knights are male and the card came up in reverse. So to me, that's a nudge towards like a same sex relationship. 
what this would suggest is that there, you know, this may not have been like a very stable connection that they had. The knight in reversal, because knights are male um, and represent a very young masculine energy, because this came up in reverse, it almost to me signifies like a rejection of, you know, young masculine things when they were together. What I'm getting from this is that like they may have been running around together, but there may not have been like a very strong emotional connection. Like it may not have been a very heart centered connection. It may have been like we're friends and sometimes we hook up. But again, like to me, the cards of this spread that are the most indicative of a salient sex union is the Emperor and the Hierophant in reverse. And that that is the most compelling to me. So that's what I've got for you guys. Put your comments below. What do you think? Do you have a different take on this spread? Because I really want to know. You don't always have to agree with me, all right? So put your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and as always, we'll do this again.